Hi everyone, my turn to read you the story tonight. Now I used to read this to my son when he was little. He's a big boy now, but I used to read him this story and it's called Fidgety Fish. Okay. Tiddler was always fidgeting. He wriggled and squiggled, he darted and giggled <laughs> until his mum got fed up with him. Go out into the sea and swim till you're tired, but watch out for the big fish, she said. So Tiddler swam out of his cave. He dived and he flipped, he leapt and he dipped, he sped faster than a rocket. And glided gentler than a swan, letting the sea currents fan his fins, but he still didn't feel tired. There were limpets that clung and jellyfish that stung. Tiddler swam on towards a big red starfish and butted it gentler with his nose. The starfish just smiled. Tiddler asked the clickety clackety crab to play, but it scuttled off into the seaweed. Tiddler came to a big dark cave. It looked much more exciting than his cave back home and Tiddler swam in. Uh oh. Snap! <gasps> Tiddler was trapped inside the big fish. Uh oh. He trembled and shivered and shook and quivered until the big fish's tummy began to feel very funny indeed. It rumbled and grumbled, it turned and it tumbled, it fluttered and groaned and mumbled and moaned. Suddenly, the big fish did an enormous, are you ready for this? Burp! It's done a big burp. Whoosh! Out shot Tiddler. Past the jellyfish and the clickety clackety crab hiding in the weeds, past the starfish and straight through his front door. I hope you've used up all that energy, said his mum. But she would have to wait until the morning to hear about his adventures because Tiddler was already fast asleep. <sighs> fast asleep. That's the end of my story. Hope you all stay safe. See you again soon.